5G. The fifth generation of cell phone network is the future, and it is coming soon. This advanced cellular network not only changes the way how humans communicate, but also develops everything connected, including our physical world, medical services, transportation, and manufacturing. Telecommunication operators, including AT&T and China Mobile, have been dashing to enhance the 5G wireless technology. So, do you know which countries are leading the world to 5G services? Number 1. Ericsson Ericsson is a Swedish global networking and telecommunications company. Its name Ericsson came from its founder Lars Magnus Ericsson. Back in the days, Ericsson was established to repair telegraph instruments. Its success came from reinventing foreign-made cell phones. After Ericsson's death, his mobile business had grown internationally in the UK and Russia, and expanded to the Oceania continent. In the 90s, the company joint ventured with Sony to manufacture mobile telephone devices in Asia. Their business has grown successfully in Asia. Sony Ericsson's cell phone was a trendy icon in the 90s, but this trend had only lasted for eight years. Today, Ericsson gave up its phone business to become the first operator for 5G in the world. It is now providing a massive number of 5G services all over the world. Since the UK has announced to terminate Huawei out its 5G network, Ericsson is planning to step forward and build networks for the UK. Do you like Ericsson? Is it your favorite? Let's talk about the next company, Nokia. We all know this brand in the 1990s. This is a brand from Finland. In 1865, Nokia was not in their telephone business, but operated in various industries with toilet paper and cables. Can you imagine toilet paper and a phone? How are they related? In 1979, Nokia created its own Nordic mobile telephone services. The first international cellular services and the first car phone also came from Nokia. In 1990, they switched their market strategies to the telecommunications market. It had great success in creating mobile devices. The first mobile phone launched and reported it had 90 minutes take time and saved 99 contact numbers. The iconic Nokia ringtone was a big hit. It sold 20 million handsets worldwide, much higher than other competitors such as Ericsson. Unfortunately, this glorious moment ended in 2007. Smartphones have changed the mobile ecosystem forever. Apple announced the iPhone 1, while Google also developed Android in 2008. Continue with other smartphones competitors such as Samsung, HTC, Huawei, Nokia faced a huge decline in 2009, though Nokia continued to operate its own Symbian operating system. In 2010, Nokia joined Microsoft to recreate his own version of new smartphones, Lumia. Windows became Nokia's new operating systems, but it was not successful. In fact, Nokia has switched its creation from phone to 5G technologies. Nokia has made a new 5G deal with Taiwan-based Asia-Pacific Telecom, boasting both non-standalone and standalone versions of the next-generation network. Nokia has also announced plans to set up a robotic lab in Bangalore for research on socially relevant use cases based on 5G and emerging technologies in the future. Nokia, I always remember its phone, can never be crusted. So what is the third company? Qualcomm. Qualcomm, the largest semiconductor company in the world, produces chips to electronic devices such as mobiles, TV, and audio systems. Seven MIT graduates in 1985 built up this company. Two of their most well-known technologies are CDMA and GSM. Qualcomm had a huge success on CDMA technology-made mobile phones, chips, and base stations. From 1997 to 2014, Qualcomm acquired nearly 50 other technological companies. Even Apple were selling CDMA and GSM phones. Snapdragon chips are the latest invention in Qualcomm, 
used in most modern smartphones including Samsung Galaxy and Xiaomi. While Apple doesn't use these chips, the modems by Qualcomm are still used by them. Snapdragon 690's processor marks the first time Qualcomm to offer its 5G technology towards the lower end of its smartphone chip lineup. Krishino Amen, president of Qualcomm, announced to pitch an ambitious vision of 5G that spanned not just smartphones, but cars and laptops in the future. Number 4. Samsung. The one and only tech company came from Asia. Samsung is one of the largest manufacturers of electronic devices in South Korea. It has a variety of production of consumer and industry electronics, including appliances, digital media devices, as well as memory chips. It has become one of the most recognizable names in technology. Samsung was founded as a grocery trading store in 1938. It started trading noodles and other goods produced in the city and exported to China. After the Korean War, Samsung expanded its business into textiles and opened the largest woolen mill in Korea. This company focused heavily on helping its country to redevelop itself after the war. For now, in Korea, Samsung is more than about technology. It is also about heavy industries, shipbuilding, and internet security. Today, Samsung Electronics became our lifestyle from TV to mobile phones. They even provide its own 5G radio access network solution. The solution provides a new option for mobile operators seeking improved efficiencies, cost savings, and management benefits from deploying a software-based 5G radio infrastructure. Samsung has beaten the long-term competitors such as Ericsson and Nokia to expand its 5G market in the United States. It is also providing a strong 4G performance in India. Finally, it is Intel. In July 1968, Intel was founded by American engineers Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore. The initial products were memory chips, including the world's first metal oxide semiconductor, the 1101, which did not sell well. However, its sibling, the 1103, dynamic random access memory, known as DRAM chip, was successful. This is the first chip to store a significant amount of information. DRAM were cheaper and used less power than core memory, quickly became the standard memory devices and computers worldwide. By the mid-1990s, Intel had expanded the chip business. IBM and Hewlett Packard were able to design and manufacture using Intel's parts for their computers. However, Intel had a bigger thought, smaller PC makers. So it began to design and build motherboards that contained all the essential parts of the computer, including graphics and networking chips. By 1995, the company was selling more than 10 million motherboards to PC makers, about 40% of the overall PC market. Today, ADI and Intel combine on 5G radio platform. They are to collaborate on creating a flexible radio platform that addresses 5G network design and challenges, and will enable customers to scale their 5G networks more quickly and economically. The communications market is moving at a rapid pace to keep up with the strains put on bandwidth and latency. As more people transact business digitally and consume and transmit data from everywhere. So which tech firm is your favorite? Which would be the next top 5G tech company in the world? Subscribe our channel. Like, share, and comment below for letting us know more about your thought.